everybody, so some of you have been asking me to show you how to break in your new point shoes. So I figured I'd share some of my tips and tricks with you guys. Since I have a brand new pair of Russian points right here, I'm going to wear them tomorrow, so I'm going to get them ready for you right now in front of the camera. Okay, so first things first, I always create some tread on the bottom of my shoes by ripping them up a little bit with scissors. So be sure to be careful while you're using these. Basically, I just open up the scissors like this, and then I take the bottom of my shoe and slice the scissors across it like that to create some tread so that you don't flip as easily. Okay, so there you go. I only have to do a little bit. I don't have to do that much. It just helps me have a little bit more traction on the floor. So now I take the shank away from the sole of the shoe just a little bit so that it can move when I roll from down point to point. Like that. There you go. Don't be alarmed if there's a little bit of glue sticking out. It'll be fine. It won't affect your foot because that'll be covering it. Okay, so now I mark my shoes right and left so I make sure that I break them in in the right way. So you can take a look at the um, tips of the boxes and see which one looks like it would be best for your right foot and which one looks like it would be best for the left. This one's for my left. And this one is my right. Okay. Here we go. Okay, so now I just bend my shanks a little bit on the floor, because that's the easiest way to get the right shape for your foot. Just a little bit, not too much. Just like that, so that you have a little bit more flexibility. You can see there. And then I get the other shoe. A little bit. Okay, there you go. You can also do it this way if you want to get more of a demi point flexibility as well. And then, of course, you have to step on the boxes. So, there you go. Make sure you're holding on to something. Point shoes aren't exactly the most stable surface. And there you go. Okay, so now you want to walk around a little bit on demi point, bare feet, so that you sweat just a little bit and make the shoes move to your feet. So now you should put on your shoes with either toe pads or not, whichever you feel is better for you. So you can just press over your point, that's what I always do first, on both feet to sort of mold the arch to your foot.
To lessen the noise that these super duper hard brushing points make on the floor, I go at them with a hammer. You have to sort of do this carefully though to make sure that you don't soften the wrong parts of your box and also make sure that you know which shoe you're doing. You don't want to, you know, hammer the left foot on the left side so that you're falling over sickling. And you also want to hammer the tip right here just a little bit so that it sort of softens the edge. That's at least what I like to do. Um, and it also softens the noise while you're jumping. I do this even if they aren't competition shoes or just normal everyday shoes. I don't like that loud, loud tipping, tacking noise that it makes when I jump. So I'm going to hammer. tip a little bit, that also lessens the noise while you're jumping. Alright, so there you go. My pouches don't have drawstrings, but if yours do, you'll definitely want to tighten them. Um, I don't really like that mine don't have drawstrings, but it's the only ones they had in the store right now. If yours do have drawstrings, take advantage of them and definitely tighten them up so that your shoes don't gape while you're in demi point. It just gives everything a more clean, finished line. You're pretty much done breaking in your shoes now. If you want to do anything else, add to this whole ritual that I do every time, you can. Um, some people also like to cut their shanks going to do that, My Dance TV has a really good video on that, so you might want to go check her out. I'll put the link in the description below. Okay, so now your point shoes should be a lot more flexible, a lot easier to wear for your first class in your shoes. Um, if you have any comments, suggestions, leave them below for me. I'm done here. I'm done. Special for me. <laughs> <laughs>